this fine, but gorgeous morning, Diesel. It's beautiful and gorgeous at the same time, making it gorgeous. We're still here at the Flying J where we slept. I'm just waking up now, doing paperwork, getting ready to cross the border in about three hours. Getting ready to make sure all my logs are legal. I'm legal to cross into the United States of America. Diesel has gone for his walk. Hey, look here, man. Diesel. Good boy. People want to see your beautiful face, man. Oh, so, other than that, we're going to fuel once we get into the United States because it'll be a lot cheaper there. We're crossing at Detroit, Michigan, which reminds me I need to get cash out for the bridge. That's right, the bridge. I've got to pay to get it. How much is it to get over the bridge? Isn't it like 20 some dollars? <sighs> Yikes. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to make sure I am ready for that. Log sheets are just getting ready here. Let's get this show on the road. from Ontario into the States, it always costs money. At Fort Erie, they're smart. They like to use Easy Pass. There we go. All right. It's time to go make some money. I like money. I don't know who doesn't. It sort of puts food on the table, you know? So the freeway's a little ways up here. I don't know why that flying day is so far away from the freeway, but it works. I'm sure there's good reason. There's probably a different stop than flying day often. So I use it half the Canada. Just wave at this guy. Everybody wave. Hey, he waved back. He waved at all of us. Don't y'all feel special now? Not everybody gets a wave, so it's pretty special when you get one from me. Imagine people like, some people wave at every single truck that goes by. You know, wave this, everybody wave that orange guy, though, it's got a sweet truck. Everybody wave! Oh, he didn't wave, he was way too cool. Way too cool in his truck there. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> like picking and choosing who we're gonna wave at. No, I'm not gonna wave at that guy, nope. <laughs> okay, so we turn here, right? Right? This was the wrong turn, wasn't it? This was the wrong turn. Hey, it's not what I wanted. How do I get back on the freeway? Oh, I probably went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go the other way. Alright, well, we're just gonna turn into this nice little parking lot here and do a U turn. I wasn't listening to Mandy, I was too busy waving at the drivers, getting excited. Alright, back on track. I turned too soon and I turned right and apparently it's a left turn. See, you should have all the signs. That's why people put the signs there. But these signs are even in English, so I still have all the signs. <laughs> west, towards London. Turn left onto Highway 401 West. Thanks, Mandy, I already figured that out. Where were you before? Let's me get lost. She did that on purpose, just to mess with me in the morning. She does that. Bring these go, everybody, come on, get out of my way. Come on. Uh, maybe we can make it, but nah. Nah, I probably cut them off that way. Probably not. No, definitely not. Can't make that. I got a big long unit, 72 feet. Tip of my nose. Uh, that was close, I might have been able to make that one. Why are these cars perfectly spaced? Like, why don't you like her? What? Why? Hey. There you go. Hold it. Alright. Let's get back on the freeway. Alright, guys, so we're getting close to the bridge. Keep left on three. The bridge. Are you excited for the bridge? Bridge to USA. Exciting. How many of you have traveled over this bridge before? It's the most popular, most busiest crossing from between the two then countries. On ramp to Ford Street West. I can never talk without her interrupting me. I'll try not to let it upset me. Okay, so here's a duty-free truck entrance here on the left if you guys are ever looking for it. This guy is uh, not using the turn lane. Okay, I'm just gonna stop on the road here. All right, cool, thank you. Oh, apparently this lane ends. Why is there a cone in this lane? Why is this guy? That guy stops right beside me and like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, people are confused. There's supposed to be two lanes here, you see? Two arrows, two lanes. Well, just so you guys know, there's only one lane there. And then it just comes right through here anyway. Well, oh, that's why I don't like crossing here. Nothing makes sense. Nothing. Not to me anyways. I mean, I'm sure it makes sense to regulars, but they gotta make it so confusing. 
Are you guys ready for the bridge? I think we're about to go over the bridge now. And we'll pay for it on the other side. I'll let you know how much this bridge costs for a truck with five axles. I believe they charge you per axle. I'm pretty sure. Construction, that's what all the cones are. Man, this thing's always under construction. Now, I've been driving for a while and I don't think I've ever seen it not under construction. Continue 2.1 kilometers, then exit on ramp to Ford Street West. I don't cross here very often though, so definitely looks and feels like it does need the construction. So why not? Oh, jeez. Oh, Wompe. Let's go to the USA. How about it? Look at all these people leaving the USA. Why is everybody going the other way? Is there something I don't know about over there? Everybody's leaving and I'm going in. Oh well. Oh, that construction stuff smells like tar. Woo! That stank. That's what it's called, Ambassador Bridge. This is the most busiest, like I was saying, the busiest crossing between our countries. Over a billion dollars of freight and commerce travels through here every day. I think. Someone else, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't even know. That's what I heard. Over a billion dollars per day goes over this bridge. Maybe they meant the whole country. I don't know. It sounds pretty cool if you say one billion dollars every day. Just don't trust me on that one. Somebody go Google it. I can't Google it right now. I'm trying to get over this bridge. Hey, we're in the US right now. Hey! Welcome to the United States, everybody. Welcome. It's good to be here. Good to be here. Glad I could visit. Thanks for the warm welcome. Whoa! That's not a very warm welcome. You're cutting off my lane. What am I supposed to do? There was a solid line there. Here it says cars use left lane only, but they want the trucks to go down here. <laughs> meters. Exit on ramp to Ford Street West. Always construction at this crossing. It's always confusing. Alright, so now I believe we pay for the bridge first. And then we exit on ramp to Ford Street West. Gotta be in this lane again. Or is this the border crossing already? I'm pretty sure they want you to pay for the bridge first. Make sure they get our money, you know what I mean? Once they have our money, then they'll let us in. Ding ding, we're at the border. Ding ding. Thank you, Mandy. I hadn't realized. No stopping in yellow area. Okay, what is this? Like one of them x-ray machines that you drive through? Okay. Okay. Why is this pickup truck here beside me? What's going on? Oh, I want to be in this lane here. What's that pickup doing here? He almost drove right into me. This is the wrong side for pickups, man. You're supposed to go with the cars. When the sign says trucks, they're referring to big trucks, not little pickup trucks. <laughs> All right, so that was the border crossing. That's where they looked at my ID, my paperwork, asked me 20 questions, and then let me into their country. So now I'm officially accepted into the United States of America as a visitor here for the purpose of work. That right there is a good old flag of the United States. You got the prisoners of war missing in action. And at the bottom there you got the flag of Ohio. I don't know why it's split at the end like that. It's not blowing very well right now either, is it? Not very windy here today. Yes, we are in the great state of Ohio. Nice little rest area here. Couple more trucks over there. Time to take our break. It is break time. Diesel, how do you feel about break time right now? I definitely want you to go play in the grass, man. I think I could take you out there. Do you need to go outside? What'd you just say? 
I said you need to go outside. That's what I thought you said, man. I like that very much, please. Very much. Got my eye on that patch of grass over there. I'd really like to go say hello to it, man. You sure? You don't want to stay in the truck? You want to go outside? Well, how many times I got to tell you, man? He's just gazing out there. Like, I want to see the grass. Diesel, you and your obsession with grass. Let's take the poor fella outside. Let's take him outside. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Yes, there's been other dogs here, I promise you. So here's the little park that they got set up for everybody here at the rest area. It's actually very nice. I sort of want to let Diesel run around a little bit, but I want to go further into the back corner there where we can just be by ourselves. That tree back there, there's seriously like six to ten squirrels running up and down it. Diesel hasn't noticed yet. Shh, we're gonna go see if we can see them. They're very sneaky. They hide on the other side of the tree, right? Shh, they're up there. They're here somewhere. They're hiding on the other side of the trunk. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Do you guys see them? They're here somewhere. They probably hear me talking. I found one. There he is. Oh, they're little sneaky little guys. Hey, look at it. You're not even moving. I see you. I see you. Where's the other 10? Look at him. He just sort of blends right in, eh? Crazy little guy. Told you there were squirrels in there. You didn't believe me. The squirrels right there. Oh, he moved. Where'd he go? Diesel. I just realized I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes staring up at that tree. If anyone's watching me over there, they're probably like, what is that guy doing? I live with a dog. Sometimes I guess he just rubs off on me a little bit. And you go, squirrel? And you go sit at the bottom of the tree and stare at them. Right, Diesel? It's what we do. It's what we do. <laughs> that dog is wearing shades. See that? <laughs> cool dude. I want to look back here, buddy. Yeah, styling. <laughs> nice. It just leaves them on too. You like his shades, man? Look pretty snazzy, didn't they? I'm gonna have to get you shades now. Are you gonna leave them on like that guy did? Huh? Or are you just gonna knock them off right away? You better wear them. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, we're ready to leave here. We need to continue on our way. We got about five and a half, six hours of driving left to do today yet. Let's go.
are so close to being on our way home. So close. We're at the customer. Uh, drop the trailer here. We're actually picking up a load at the exact same place. That doesn't happen very often. So I'm just pretty much switching trailers. Uh, I guess that does happen. Switching trailers, but this isn't really a trailer switch. I'm dropping off product that I picked up for them in Canada. And I'm picking up product that they make here with that same product that I brought down here for them. And I'm bringing it back up to Canada. So it's actually two different kinds of loads. It's really strange that way. That makes sense? Anyways, it's a irregular thing for me. But anyway, so uh, I dropped my trailer here. Uh, the people told me where they wanted it. They're not going to unload it probably till Monday anyways. So they uh, signed my paper thing saying that they received the trailer. And they said that the trailer I'm picking up isn't ready yet. So they told me where I could park right here. And so I'm right here at the customer. I'm gonna take my 10 hours here or however long it takes them to finish the trailer. I'm almost out of hours anyways. And even if I did go to a truck stop from here, like I left myself enough time to be able to get back to a truck stop, but they're all gonna be full and packed anyways, right? And the guys here knew that. They're like, you're not gonna get a parking spot anywhere at this time of night. Why don't you just stay here? Thank you very much, I will. Absolutely. You guys ever go onto Google Earth or Google Maps and get totally lost and distracted for like an hour when all you went on there to do is just to like one quick little thing? I just went on a virtual street view tour of Perth, Australia. Beautiful city you guys got down there. The way you guys drive on the wrong side of the road is just crazy. I would love that. If I ever come down to Australia or anywhere that drives on the left hand side. I'm renting a car, if they let me. I'm gonna steal one if they don't let me. I'm just kidding. Don't steal cars, it's bad, that was a joke. Some people take everything I say too serious. Well, I will talk to you tomorrow morning. We will be right here in this exact same spot. Unless if my brakes don't work. That would be so weird if you like, cause I'm sort of parked on a hill here. <laughs> I'm pretty much level, I'm sort of at the top. But if my brakes fail, I'd start rolling down the hill. I'd wake up at the bottom of the hill, <laughs> open the curtains. Something's different here. Something, I can't put my finger on it, but something's different. <laughs> uh, good thing with trucks, that's impossible because in order to release the brakes, you need air pressure. And my brakes aren't getting air unless if I sleepwalk and turn. What if I were to sleepwalk and release the brakes? <laughs> now we're talking crazy. I need to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget, if you're new, in the description, there's a big long list of links and all kinds of information you guys can check out. You can go back to see past vlogs of mine over the past couple of years. I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.